In this video, we will be discussing about the transitional provisions and how to record the transactions related to that in Joho books. The provisions provided by the government of UAE to handle the impact of VAT on transactions created before 2018, which is the pre-VAT period, and continued through to 2018, which is the VAT implemented period, is called as transitional provisions. When goods are delivered or the services are rendered in the pre-VAT period but the payment alone is done after the implementation of VAT, those transactions are not subject to VAT. Let us consider another case. When the payment against the purchase of goods or services is already done in the pre-VAT period but the goods are delivered or the services are rendered in the VAT implemented period, those transactions will be subject to VAT. Let me take an example and show you how to record the transactions related to it in Zoho Books. Let's assume you have received a payment from a customer against the sale of goods in 2017, but you have delivered the goods in 2018, that is the VAT implemented period. In this case, you are supposed to charge VAT on the goods sold. You would have already created an invoice and would have recorded the payment against it. Since you are delivering the goods in 2018, you need to create an invoice with just the tax amount that needs to be collected. So let me explain how to record the same in Zoho Books. Head on to the invoice module under the sales tab, create a new invoice. Choose the customer name, add a line item with the total value of the goods specified, say 1000 dirhams, and associate the tax treatment. Now add another line item with the value of goods specified in negative, that is, minus 1000 dirham and associate out of scope as a tax treatment. By doing so, the invoice will be only for the tax amount that needs to be collected. Send it across to your client and collect the payment. Let me give another perspective to this use case. Let's say you are a customer and you have made a payment in 2017 against the purchase of goods but received the goods only in 2018. So in this case, you are liable to pay the tax amount to the vendor. So let me show you how to go about recording this transaction in Zoho Books. Create a bill and enter the basic details like the vendor name, bill date and number. Add the first line item as the total value of the goods purchased, let's say 1000 dirhams. and associate the appropriate tax to it. Now create another line item with the rate entered as minus 1000 dirham and choose the tax treatment as out of scope. Check for the total bill amount. It will be for 50 dirhams, which will be just the tax amount. The process to record the transactions in Zoho books remains the same in case of services as well. When it comes to services, there is one other case to be discussed. In case of services that were provided partially in 2017 and partially in 2018, the service enjoyed in 2018 alone becomes taxable. Say you subscribe to a yearly broadband package starting October 2017. This package is valid till October 2018 and let's assume that the yearly charges is thousand dirhams. In the year 2018, the broadband service will be enjoyed for 10 months, which is January to October 2018. You need to calculate the broadband charges for these 10 months, which will approximately come up to 833.33 dirhams. So this amount needs to be made taxable. To create this transaction in Zoho Books, create a bill and enter the basic details. Enter the first line item as broadband charges and enter 833.33 dirhams as the rate and associate 5% tax. Add another line item with minus 833.33 dirhams and choose the tax treatment as out of scope. In this case, only the tax amount levied upon 833.33 dirhams will be reflected as the total bill amount. Save the bill. 
If you are a service provider and you need to collect just the VAT amount similar to the cases mentioned above, you can follow the same procedure while creating an invoice. As a last step, let me quickly shed some light on who needs to bear the VAT amount on the transactions that eventually needs to be paid to the FTA. If the contract or the transaction mentions that the tax rates specified are tax exclusive, then the VAT amount needs to be paid by the recipient. If the contract or the transaction mentions that the rates specified are tax inclusive, the VAT amount needs to be paid by the supplier. If the contract doesn't mention that the tax rates are inclusive or exclusive of VAT, the transaction will be treated as tax inclusive by default in cases of consumers. But on the other hand, if the recipient is VAT registered and able to recover the tax paid, the transaction will be considered as tax exclusive. Hope this video helps you understand the concepts of transitional provisions. If you have any further queries, feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.